there are some cases in the production network that you want to exempt an IPS rule for specific traffic. For example, I have turned on the ICMP signature to drop ICMP requests for all traffics. It means block it from any source to any destination. Now imagine you have certain traffic from a specific source IP address to a particular destination IP address. For ping between these two IP addresses, you want to generate a vent in your IPS and not drop the ICMP traffic. This is the diagram and topology, and now we want to test and deploy several scenarios. Let's go to our lab. Scenario number one. Block all ICMP traffic from any source to any destination. In this step we will check the connectivity between the two hosts. I will ping from the host 1 to host 2 and verify it in Wireshark. Let's go to Cisco FMC and verify what IPS rule is assigned to our default ACP. As you can see, our intrusion policy is ICMP and variable set is default set. Now we go and edit our ICMP intrusion policy and try to add rules. Now we open the policy layer and check my changes policy. So far there are no rules. Now go to rules and search about ICMP ping signature. As you can see here, there are lots of signatures about ICMP. I will select the general ICMP signature. The signature ID or SID is 384. This signature is disabled by default and rule overhead is high. Please pay attention to this step. Here is rule documentation. Alert means the rule generates an event, external net and home net are defined in the variable set, and now both of them equal to any. This signature searches for ICMP type 8 and code 0, which means ICMP request. Now we will select the rule, and we change the state of rule from disable to drop and generate event. Now in my changes policy, we can see our rule, to save our changes go to policy and commit. Finally, we have to deploy configuration. Now the configuration is deployed, let's go to PC1 and see the result. As we expected, ping is gone because our IPS is dropping ICMP request. For signature verification, we can go to analysis menu and choose intrusion event. As you can see, the signature name appears. For more details, you can click on the packet and see more info. On this page, almost we can see every single detail about the event. You can see the source IP address, destination IP address, or what intrusion policy is applied for this event. You can also see the rule itself. Now I will click on table view of event. As you can see, here are some details about signature like source IP and destination IP of traffic. Also we can see the inline result. In our scenario, inline result is drop. And for the last verification step, we go back to the lab and try to ping another IP address, this time 100 100 107. We expect this ping also get blocked by intrusion policy because it should drop all ICMP traffic from any source to any destination. Now I want to create an exemption for our ICMP rule. Based in our scenario, we enabled a signature to drop the ICMP packet from any source to any destination. Now we want to exempt this ICMP drop signature for specific traffic. Before continuing our scenario, we need to know two important notes. Key point number one, 
Cisco IPS will flatten the intrusion policy layers, and it applies only the cumulative effect of all settings when it handles network traffic. And the second key point is, if you want to compare two signature, one with drop action and the other one with generate event action, drop has priority. Based on these two critical notes, our scenario will face an issue. Let me describe the problem. The challenge is to let the source IP address of 172.16.71.49 ping the destination IP address of 100.100.107, yet, IPS must drop the ICMP packet for the rest of the destinations. I need to create a custom signature with a destination IP of 100.100.107, and the state of signature is generate event. But at the same time, we have our main signature, which drops all ICMP traffics from any source to any destination. Because of IPS rules that I explained before, the main rule is overriding our exempt custom signature. And now we should talk about our solution. To tackle the challenge, we need to do the following procedure. Step 1. We need to change our main signature. We should change destination IP from any into any except 100 100 107, we can also create variables set. Step 2. We create a custom signature for ICMP protocol, and traffic flow is from any source to 100 100 107 IP address, and the state of the signature should be, generate event. Let's go to lab, and do the configuration, 